Okay, so today is May 24th. That will be day one of me studying for the CPACC. CPACC stands for Certified Professional in Accessibility Core Competencies. There was a booth of the, the Accessibility Association and I went and asked them how to get that certificate and how to study. And they said, if, you ha if you're a member of the Accessibility Association, which I am, and we're really good at giving those $200, then you could get like a special course that's free to study for it. So I'll probably go and do that. I don't have to, I don't actually have to take DQ University, which I thought I had to. And then there's also materials on the website. So basically it's going to be a lot of studying. And uh, I am, I guess, I'm excited to get the certificate, but not at the same time because I know a lot of people who have the certificate and they admit they don't know anything about accessibility, but I just don't want to be blocked off from applying to jobs because some of them require that you have either CPA, CC, or the Web Accessibility Specialist certification. And yes, you can also go DHS, DHS Trust the Tester as well, but I'm not a tester. I mean, I could, I could probably take it if I want to, but I just want to not be considered as a tester, of course. My company is providing me tuition, which is why I'm taking it just now, four years after being only focused on accessibility, but it's gonna be exciting, I guess. So I have a four, I have a six, six hour road trip Thursday. So I'll probably study during that time and study after work. They say you should study like five to eight hours a week. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do one hour and a half in the morning, every morning because I wake up at like five o'clock, so, and then I go to work. I can also do it after work, but I get so tired from work. <laughs> and depending on what happened during the day, I just don't feel like studying, so I'll probably just do it in the morning. And yeah, I'm hoping to get the certificate, so I'll keep you updated. So earlier I talked about me getting the CP, ACC, so I won't be blocked out from jobs, because some jobs, accessibility jobs require you to have a CP, ACC. But I do have a, a job I like a lot, but you never know what's going to happen. Like they can eliminate my department, the compliance department. There could be layoffs, there could be a recession, although it means our jobs will stop hiring too. But that's why I'm learning Spanish, because you have to be very skillful to find a good job nowadays. So just having a degree, well, I don't actually have a degree, so I'm actually trying to compensate for that. So this is the first job I liked for a very long time. So, but we'll see. Yeah, I'll keep you updated on my progress as we go along.